Hi, I'm Brad with Brewing TV, and today I'm going to tell you how to prevent this from looking like this. The biggest time to worry about blow off is the first few days of fermentation. Sometimes you just don't know how vigorous your fermentation is going to be. And if you leave a carboy unintended with just an airlock, it's possible that the croizing can reach the top and clog the opening. The yeast will keep producing CO2, creating more pressure until... When this thing pops out of the fermenter, it can leave a nice stain on your ceiling and the yeast is going to go all over the floor. It's just an absolute beast to clean up. Uh, so that's why we have blow-off assemblies for all of our primary fermenters, and here's how they work. Blow-off tubes work just like an airlock, except on a larger scale. There's a much larger opening for that yeast that's going to blow off to travel and into your bucket of sanitizer. Uh, it's a pretty simple operation. Basically, you just stick the one end of the blow-off tube into the opening of your carboy, and the other end into the bucket of sanitizer. With plastic fermenters like the bubbler, you're going to need a slightly different setup. The principle is still the same. It is a tube that's going to carry blow-off from the fermenter into your sanitizer. It just looks a little different. In this case, it is a stopper that fits in the bubbler, and the other end gets submerged in the sanitizer. With the glass big mouth bubblers, the opening in the top of the lid here is just slightly smaller than a standard glass carboy, uh, so we do need slightly different tubing. This here is 15 16 inch tubing. This will slide directly into the opening and the other end right into your sanitizer again. For the plastic big mouth bubblers, we're actually going to be using the same piece of blow off tubing that we would for a glass carboy. So just stick that in there again, nice snug fit, and into your sanitizer. So do your ceiling, your floor, and yourself a big favor by using your blow-off tubes for the first few days of fermentation. You guys wanna help me clean this thing? Worth a shot.